Here we've got a question on parametric equations. We're given that x is t divided by 2 subtract t and y is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus t. And we're also told t must be a value between negative 1 and 2. We're asked to show dy by dx is the following. So it's a nice question in that we know what the answer is. So let's have a go at part a. We're supposed to use uh, dy dx is equal to dy by dt divided by dx by dt. Okay, so we're going to use this here. Now let's work out dy by dt and dx by dt. So y is equal to 1 over 1 plus t, which is 1 plus t to the negative 1. So dy by dt, differentiating with respect to t, you bring down the negative 1, multiply by the differential of the bracket, and then keep the bracket, but reduce the power by 1. So dy by dt is going to be equal to a negative 1 over 1 plus t all squared. Okay, let's try a similar thing with x. x is equal to t over 2 subtract t. Now, this is a quotient, so we can use the, product, uh, the quotient rule. So dx by dt by the quotient rule is going to be equal to vu dash minus uv dashed all over v squared. Now, our u is equal to t, so u dashed is 1, and our v is equal to 2 subtract t, so our v dashed is equal to negative 1. So, applying this formula, dx by dt is going to be equal to vu dashed, which are these two multiplied together, which is just 2 subtract t, subtract these two multiplied together, which is negative t, all divided by um, t squared or v squared, which is 2 subtract t all squared. Tidying it up, dx by dt is therefore equal to 2 over 2 subtract t all squared. Okay, now we're going to use the chain rule, so we're going to say that dy by dx is therefore dy by dt, which is negative 1 over 1 plus t squared, divided by this, which is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal, 2 subtract t squared over 2. Tidying that up, uh, we're going to get ourselves negative 1, 2 subtract t squared over 2, 1 plus t squared. And we can tidy it up, as in the question, as negative a half, 2 subtract t over 1 plus t, all squared. And we're done for dy dx. So those four marks in the bag. Part B we're asked to find an equation of the normal to the curve where t is 1. Well, where t is 1, we can, uh, in order to find the normal of the curve, we're going to need the gradient, and we're going to need an x1 and a y1 value. So firstly, let's get the x and the y value. So when t is 1, x is going to be equal to, uh, it's t over 2 subtract t, so it's 1 over 2 subtract 1, which is equal to 1. And y is going to be equal to 1 over 1 plus t, so 1 over 1 plus 1, which is a half. So our coordinates there, when t is 1, we have the coordinates 1 and a half. Okay, so they're the easy marks done. Now let's find the gradient dy by dx when t is equal to 1. Well, what we can use, we can use this here, the formula we worked out in part A. We know that dy by dx is equal to this here. So substituting in t is 1, we would get negative a half, 2 subtract 1 over 1 plus 1 all squared, which is the same as a half squared, which is a quarter. So you get negative an eighth for dy by dx. Okay, then you can therefore, that's the gradient of the tangent. So you can state that the gradient of the normal must therefore be equal to its negative reciprocal, which is 8. And now we're going to use y subtract y1 is m x subtract x1. So we can say that y subtract a half is 8x subtract 1. And we're done. It didn't ask us for it in any form at all here. It didn't say give it in a specific form, so that is absolutely fine to give your answer to finish with. Okay, lastly, we're asked to show that the Cartesian equation of the curve can be written in the following form. Okay, I'm just going to rub this out currently. 
I'm going to go back here and I'm just going to take ourselves the parametric form because we're going to need that, the parametric form here. So what we, what the aim of the game with this question here is to eliminate the t's. Okay, eliminate the t's and show that y is equal to that. So in order to do that, we've already got y equals something here. So what we'd like to do is we'd like to replace that t with something with x's in it. So let's use this equation here. So let's use the equation x is equal to t over 2 subtract t. Let's try and make t the subject of the formula and then shove it in here. So multiplying both sides by 2 subtract t, you'd have x, 2 subtract t is equal to t. Expand in brackets, 2x subtract xt is equal to t. We want to make t the subject of the formula, so 2x is going to be equal to t plus xt. Factorising out the t, and then making t the subject, you would have the following. Okay, so now t is the subject of the formula. Now we can replace it in this equation here. So we're going to have y is equal to 1 over 1 plus 2x over 1 plus x. Okay, so we're going to need, need to do a bit of tidying up. Now the way I suggest you do this is deal with this separately. Don't try and do it all in one go. So do some separate working here, working. And we're going to try and work out 1 plus 2x over 1 plus x. Okay, make the denominators the same, so 1 plus x over 1 plus x plus 2x over 1 plus x. So that's going to be equal to 1 plus 3x over 1 plus x. Okay, is the bottom. And therefore, y is going to be 1 divided by 1 plus 3x over 1 plus x, which is the same as 1 times its reciprocal, which is 1 plus x over 1 plus 3x. So there's what y is just as we were asked to do in the question, and we're done.